At Running S Equine, we continually strive to offer state-of-the-art surgical procedures and to tailor the surgery to the needs of the horse and the owner. This means keeping up with the latest techniques in minimally invasive surgery. We have offered arthroscopic surgery for many years and use arthroscopy for elective surgeries such as bone chip and OCD lesion removal, as well as for emergencies and open joint and tendon sheath injuries and infections. With minimally invasive surgery, a rigid telescope that provides approximately 30 times magnification and illumination is inserted into the space to be examined. The image is viewed via a video camera on a high-definition monitor. An up-close and thorough examination of the structures within the space is possible. Specially designed instruments are introduced through one or more separate small incisions allowing many kinds of tissue manipulations and interventions. Laparoscopy is a more recent addition to the surgical options available at Running S Equine. Similar to arthroscopy, laparoscopy uses the same principles of small incisions and a telescope to see inside the abdomen. As in human surgery, many procedures are made simpler, safer, and less invasive using laparoscopy. As in this case, laparoscopy can eliminate the need for general anesthesia for some procedures can be performed in the standing awake sedated horse. The pony in this case was showing signs of stallion-like behavior. He appeared to be a gelding, but his castration history was unknown. Blood tests indicated that he was a cryptorchid. Standing laparoscopy was chosen to determine if the pony had abdominally retained testes. Performing the procedure laparoscopically allows the horse to go back to work within a couple of weeks. With only three small incisions in each flank, the left and right testes were removed. The procedure is made rapid and safe through the use of the Asculap Electrofuse radio frequency generator and Cayman tissue sealing and cutting device. This equipment is made in Germany by Asculap and distributed to veterinarians in the U.S. by Vet Ovation. The Cayman is approved to coagulate and cut vessels up to 7 millimeters in diameter and is available at multiple lengths and sizes. We use the 44 centimeter by 5 millimeter model, which provides adequate length for use in horses. The Cayman eliminates the need for sutures or clips to control bleeding. Slide it away. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Just go get another bite. Oh my gosh. Another innovation is the specimen bag. The separated testy is placed into the bag within the abdomen, and the bag with the testy inside is withdrawn from the abdomen through a small incision. In this horse, only three to five stitches were required to close the incision. The horse was allowed to turn out within a week and was back to full work within three weeks' time. Laparoscopy is most commonly employed for cryptorchid surgery, ovariectomies, umbilical remnant infections and foals, abdominal exploration, and intestinal biopsies, to name a few. Running us would like to thank Les Meadowcroft of Vetovation and Asculap USA for their support, materials, and expertise.